However, sometimes the outcome is serious. In the UK, in 2009 to 2010, the big freeze saw parts of Scotland reaching temperatures as low as minus 22 degrees Celsius, the coldest in nearly 40 years, with widespread transport disruption, event closures, and power failures. Sadly, this in turn led to the death of 25 people. In the US, the 2019 January-February North American cold wave saw a polar vortex move down across much of the country with similar outcomes. Some areas saw temperatures as low as minus 50 degrees Celsius, if you take into account wind chill factor from the blustery freezing winds. Snowstorms raged. You could get frostbite from being outside in just 10 minutes. Sadly, another 22 people died, with hundreds more needing frostbite treatment. Responsible was the ranging polar vortex. In time, the imbalances in the global temperatures restore themselves, and the jet stream returns to its previous position. However, it's worth noting that some level of jet stream breakdown occurs in the north six times every decade. If you live in the Northern Hemisphere, you will likely see many more of these events over the course of your lifetime, although hopefully not all as powerful as these two examples. In the South, you are likely safer. There have only ever been two instances in recorded history of the Southern Polar Jet Stream breaking down in the same way as the Northern one.